Absolutely. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got the pink, which is the best color to ever play with. His name is Storm. He's playing Zerg in this CVC. He's from the clan STG, and he hails from Denmark. And up in the top right-hand corner, we've got uh, Night... Oh, Night something. Night's Gaming, I think it is. Night, yeah, Night, yeah, Night's Gaming was just the S that confused me. So we've got Night's Gaming's Pixel. He hails from the Netherlands, so give a loud cheer in that weird, lovely language that you guys speak. And uh, he's also going to be uh, Zerg. Surprise, mm. surprise in a CVC. And still keeping on with the talking. <clears throat> well... So, we see a temple going down, not really surprising because this is one of one of Storm's um, favorite openings in this matchup. Uh, we did have ZBZ finals, by the way, in the tournament uh, with uh, Storm playing versus Zhu Galiang, a uh, Grandmaster player from Sweden. Oh, that's a name. <laughs> yeah, he's of Chinese origin, so that's why. And uh, both of those guys actually were going most of mo most of the time they were going for uh, ten pools and twelve pools and stuff like that. Uh, so th those games really were uh, were nice. And oh no, Pixel going for the fifteen hatch. Excuse oh, me, 16, sixteen hatch even. It's even more greedy than you <laughs> should expect it to be. And I mean, is he? Yeah, he's still droning. He's so oh my god! If First he, if he goes for gas before pool now as well yeah I w oh another drone I will cry no he's going for the pool he has to be going for the pool right now because the gas would already have been down but oh man yeah pool this is not gas. looking good and uh, storm expanding behind this taking that expansion and the overlord from pixel actually did see those links moving out so he knows exactly what's up he cancels the gas for some reason not really know what is up with that, but uh, what he really should be doing, there we go, the Overlord being produced, that is a thing that he will need most uh, most certainly. And, uh, you know, this is not a build that it's supposed to kill your opponent, it's just a pressure build, and uh, this hatchery can take a lot of damage. And, uh, well, I'm not entirely sure, I think Pixel should actually cancel this, because there is not a certainty he will be able to defend that. He uh, he knows there are no more links on the way, so maybe that's why he's not cancelling it, but uh, it will be some time before his own links are out. And yes, indeed, he does cancel. Very wise decision there uh, from uh, from Pixel. Problem is, he did not build any spine crawlers, which he definitely should have done. Yeah, we do have the links finally popping out for Pixel, and links together with the drones back home should be able to fend this off. So two drones have gone down now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two drones have been killed off, so that coupled with the delay of that expansion is going to make this a uh, well worth the little opener for a storm so he should be looking to be a little bit ahead he hasn't lost too many drones uh too many links either excuse me so he's still got the six which should be enough to just spend those six links off since math is uh six divide six minus six is zero so with the help of a queen or something like that since they're a little bit hurt they should be able to do absolutely no damage back home for mm -hmm. for storm now, the uh, why why you would want to do a build like this, even it's really aggressive, it's actually economic focus because you're getting an advantage of hav having uh, you're basically c forcing your opponent to cancel that hatch. If he doesn't cancel, then you would end up being behind. If he somehow somehow ends up defending both of these, uh, his main and his natural, which is not highly likely, but it can happen. If he cancels, though, you have the advantage because you will have more larva for uh, longer periods of time than him, than him. And uh, look at this, Pixel just trying to pressure, trying to pressure. Uh, both of these guys are building uh, their baneling nests already, and uh, Storm, well, Storm is on par in Econ with his opponent. The expansion still not finished for Pixel, and uh, as soon as that banding nest finishes, I think that Pixel might try to decide to go for an attack, but look at the speed timing. There's a 20 second dif difference, and Storm has to be careful not to be caught off guard here in the middle of the map. No, he has to be very, very careful indeed. But he has got the Ling advantage and it's getting even further ahead for every single second that passes. We have an equal amount of paintings being built for both from both sides. They have been scouted now from Pixel though, because he did control that Tenlaga Tower for quite some time. And now that both of the players have speed, 
It's going to be coming down to the guy with the most links and bane links, and of course the bane link detonations go up the ramps Ooh. of that. Only two links after the one bending, and here is where the micro part really comes into play. Yeah, two bendings against a lot of other bendings. Will he detonate again? There we see. Oh. Nice, nice trade there for Storm. Very nice trade there for Storm. Still three banelings remaining there, heading up to the ramp. Can they detonate on all of those links? Oh, there have been plenty of chances. Nice detonations going off uh, for Storm. And those banelings did actually make it into the main mineral line, blowing up half the drones there. And now Pixel knew that it was already over, and GG's out of the game.